Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Hulk Hogan's Alley for the NES. I just picked up this game at Games and Things yesterday. So, uh, yeah, and I think I played this game in, like, the arcade when I was a kid. Uh, but I don't remember hardly anything about it at all, except how you can shoot people through the window, and you can send someone running away, and if that is the right game. It might even be the same game. I don't know what to see. And right now, I just picked the uh, the Target A practice or whatever it is. This is the first game I've done on YouTube that involves the NES Zapper, in which case I'm using the mouse because I'm playing on the emulator, as you can tell. And yeah, so uh, I guess right here is the um, practice round or something. I don't know. But over the years, I always would hear or see this game. I'm like, hey, I would like to try, I would like to play this game. Because uh, I don't really remember anything at all about it. In a way, it could be a long time no play, but I don't really remember anything, period, about it. So, to really describe it, my experience with it back then. Um, okay, round six. So, how long is this freaking practice round? I guess 10 rounds? I don't know, man. Ah, oh, dang it. I missed J-Man. Let me, uh, move on to someone else. Yeah, the only gun game I ever played for the NES is, like, Duck Hunt. That was it. I never played Wild Gunman. Uh, I didn't play Hogan's Alley on the NES, I don't believe, and I never played whatever other gun game there is on the NES, I don't remember. Dang it. Oh, my God. That, that old guy that I didn't shoot at just now, and, and then the other guy over there, they look the same because they both were red. Dang, round 13? How many? What is this? I mean, this is this a practice stage or what? Well, at least I reached a top score so far. What are those numbers me on the top? Ah, uh, well. Sharpshoot, okay, now I'm Bret Hart now. Okay, I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> starting to wonder, is this the same game I played when I was a kid? Or maybe not, because... Hmm, anyway. Yeah, because this is why this is a let's check out instead of a long time no play. Because this basically really is my first time ever playing this game. So, I really don't know what I'm talking about here. Uh, <laughs> or don't know what I'm playing here. The game, the Hogan's Alley, I remember if it is Hogan's Alley that I played in the arcade. It was, if there even was an arcade Hogan's Alley, I'm not even sure of that now. Um... The one I remember playing was, you know, I go around and uh, with my gun I shoot enemies, and you can see enemies through the uh, the window, and uh, you might see innocent innocent person in the window in, in, in an apartment building, and you can shoot them. You can't really shoot them; they'll just get scared, run away. I'm beginning to wonder if that's even this game or not. And if not, I don't know what game it is. Maybe I need to do some more research and. And I need to do some research and find out which game I actually played now as a kid because I'm beginning to think this is not it. And if it's not, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Or hopefully, the game I'm thinking of is on the NES somewhere. It's not Wild Gunman either. Ah, dang it. Dang, I missed eight. Well, how many times? How many bullets do you got? And how many. Times can you miss before you lose here? I don't, I don't get it. Ah! Oh, nice. 
it's a bit easier if I had the actual gun, which I do, but and I have the game, but I don't have the capture device to to record off my television. And besides, my computer's upstairs anyway, away from my TV. Wow, just missed 11. That's game over. But yeah, it would be easier with the gun, but you know, you gotta you gotta work with what you got here. So let's. Uh huh. Now this is what I vaguely remember. Uh, but it's more targets. It's not freaking real enemies. Okay, yeah, I think I'm. Um, I'm starting. I'm a little disappointed here because Hogan's Alley is not what I thought it was so far. I thought it was a storyline to it where you actually fight real enemies and kind of like Lethal Enforcers. Except that, that is not what I played in the arcade. It's not Lethal Lethal Enforcers. Even though I think I played that too, but that's not the game I'm still thinking of. I have more memories of Lethal Enforcers than I do of Hogan's Alley, so. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. This is not the game I thought it was. I thought there was a plot, and, you know, you're. I don't know who Hogan is, Hulk Hogan, or that's you, the character you're playing as, doing target practice here, or if Hogan is the bad guy in the game. Uh, Hollywood Hogan, I don't know. Uh, you gotta stop the New World Order from taking over professional wrestling. <laughs> I thought this game had a storyline to it where you fight some real enemies, but I guess I was wrong. It's nothing but target practice. Very disappointing. And I'm failing pretty bad here. Oh, oops. Yeah, I fell some more to shot the cop. Woman, get out of the street, put your baby to bed. Yeah, as I just shot Al Capone, let's move on here. And I just shot Dick Tracy and shot him again. Okay. I mean, not that this game is bad. I mean, it's, it's a fun gun game when you're a kid, but geez, I thought this was something else, and I was totally off. Oh, oh, headshot. Ah. Yeah, with the gun shop, get it? <laughs> Dang it, Professor, what are you doing out this late anyway? Go teach a freaking class or something. I don't know. Go teach a class on how to, how to, how to teach me how to do a better job at this game. I've never, never played too many gun games. I mean, like Contra, you make a man yet, but I'm talking about like, you know, with the actual gun. You know, I did play, uh, I forgot what it was called for the Master System. I got the gun for the Master System also where I played Safari Hunt. That's pretty fun. Oh, yes. One more and I'm out. Alright, I'm a sharpshooter. How many rounds are there? Probably infinite, just like a duck hunt, I guess. Whoa, what a go. Ah. Ah, yep, finally game over. Ah, we got run, run. We got one more here. The trick shot. What the heck is this? Okay, I shoot the cans. Now what? Okay, you shoot them in the... Yeah, okay. Wherever, you, you know, 300 point section, 800 points, or 5,000 points. Wow, that looks, that looks tough to do. And I guess if you miss 10, you're out of here, too. the 
pick. I heard, just heard a Metroid sound effect. I'm trying to get that 5,000 point barrel while I'm doing that. I'm missing the other cans, including that one. As Kung Fu for the NES music starts playing. Okay. Come on, get in there. I kind of don't care at this point. I just want to get that one time where I get in the 5,000 point section. Ah. Oh, forget it. Come on, freaking cans. <laughs> oh, what? Whoa. I can do it. Huh? Do that. Don't know how much longer we're gonna last, though. Come on! Oh, oh, that's it. Oh man. Oh well. That was a good try. So anyway, Hulk Hogan's Alley for the NES. This is apparently the wrong game. I was not thinking of the right game or something, or maybe my memory is just not, uh, like, well, it's a vague memory, so maybe I was totally wrong. But, I mean, maybe it's another game on the NES I'm thinking, or some other arcade game. I don't know. I just remember when I was a kid, I played a game in the arcade where I used the gun, and you, you fight real enemies on the screen, and it's not lethal enforcers. This is, like, old, like, even older than lethal enforcers. And you can, like, you see all you can see all these people, uh, bad guys in the in the window, or might, there might be an innocent person in the living room. And you shoot at them, they get scared. And I saw I remember one guy I think running out the door in his uh, bedroom, and it was something like that. Yeah, and I really thought it was Hogan's Alley. I, no, Hogan's Alley is just target practice, which is kind of a real letdown. Is that all you do is just duck hunt. Come on, but uh, maybe it's another game I'm thinking of on the NES with the with the NES Zapper. Or maybe it's just an old arcade game that I don't really remember anything about. But that's not to say Hogan's Alley really is a bad game. But I mean, uh, I mean, it's kind of like Duck Hunt, you know. Just it's a fun way as a kid to use your uh, zapper. So I can't really uh, knock it too bad for that. Uh, but at the same time, I'm real disappointed because Hogan's Alley is not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so. uh Oops, but anyway, oh well, I have it in my collection now, I like to collect games, hopefully uh, I can have a nice collection like Star Soldier one day, and that'd be nice, so, you know, I like to, at least I have it in my collection, along with a gun, so, well, that is it, I'm out of here, I'm Ron Moore, God bless, take care.